Hey guys, Yell here for Yell TV. We're at the uh, Geeks for Peace party. I'm with Eddie Matos from Finding Carter. Um, before we talk about Finding Carter, because we have we have a lot of shit okay, to discuss. That's good. Let's we talk. Can do that. Can let's we talk. Cross? Yes. Oh, of course sweet. we can. Um, let's talk about uh, Geeks for Peace. What brought you out tonight? Um, I play with a band from TV, and uh, we were asked to play this uh, uh, charity event. And um, anytime we can help out, we can do anything. Uh, we sign right up. Uh, I've been with the band for about three years now. So I just got a call. They said we're playing this show up in San Francisco, uh, San Diego at Comic Con, and I said let's do it. Down. Any way we can help. What instrument do you play? I'm the percussionist in the band, and I play a couple of songs uh, behind the drums. So, yeah. Let's talk about Finding Carter, okay. because everyone knows that I was heartbroken when Kyle died. Trust me, that makes two of us. Um, let's talk about how this came about. How, when did you find out that Kyle was um, no longer going to stay? It's actually one of the hardest things I've had to do to keep a secret for a long time. Um, it's been such a great run. It's been such a great experience. Um, it's one of the shows that I've done that uh, the family members, friends from teenagers all the way up to older generations watch the show. So it was, I found out uh, probably about three or four episodes into the second season, which was very, very early on. Yeah, because um, yeah. Kyle dies at the end of the season. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was supposed to go a lot, I don't know what happened. Things were supposed to go a lot differently, but sometimes, um, Let's just say in negotiations with other characters, things change, and uh, it was supposed to be a big season for Kyle, and uh, somewhere along the line, um, again, things changed, and uh, I got a call, and I was expecting it to be a call, as we talked about earlier, I was expecting it to be a call about uh, my involvement on the show and, and about my storyline, and instead it was a call about how, unfortunately, Kyle was going to meet his demise. We still have Gabe, Kyle's son, yes. and so there's still potential for like a shit ton of flashbacks, yes. which I'm hoping for. Do you have any information about maybe coming back for flashbacks? I don't have any information. All I can say is um, this is one of the, in my career, one of the closest casts that I've ever gotten to. They're a lot younger than me, which is kind of odd, but um, given the opportunity, of course I would do it. Um, in real life, as on the show, I, I absolutely love my son. Um, he's become one of the uh, really someone really close in my life. We hang out a lot. I hang out with all the kids, and as as much as I can in Los Angeles. And um, if anything, I have promised that I will come visit the set. I don't know if it will be. Oh, I love you too. I don't know if it'll be while well, working on the show um, or as just uh, a fan, but I implore all of you, please, 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 these are my friends and I love the show and please, regardless of your feelings about Kyle, please keep watching the show. It's going to be a great two and a half, third yeah. season. Whatever the whatever second, they're yeah, whatever they yeah. call the second part. Whatever they're calling. Um, so before we go, I just need to know if you are a Maxler fan, if you are a supporter of Maxler. I am in support of anything that's Max. Um, awesome. I love Alex Saxon. Uh, I get it. Ladies, I get it. Okay? <laughs> I, um, yeah. Uh, he's one of my closest friends on the show, so I will sit across the table from him at dinner and just stare into those eyes. And when the hair is down, forget about it. <laughs> I can't handle it. I can't deal. So Max Lore, Max, Max Gabe, Max anything, I'm down for it. Awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so I'm much. so glad we finally got to no do this. No kidding. It awesome. was uh, Baskin Robbins last time we were together. Baskin Robbins, yeah. So good to see you.